The IAEA Director General has briefed member states on developments with Iran at the start of a key IAEA meeting. As you know, I had very important and productive meetings with the foreign minister, Mr. Zarif, and also the vice president and president of the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran, Dr. Salehi. And as a result of this, we were able to agree on a temporary bilateral technical understanding for 90 days, which will allow the agency to continue its essential verification and monitoring um, activities. So so it is my hope that this uh, technical agreement will stand and that we will continue to be able to perform the activities we are performing now for ev in everyone's interest. The Director General added that this temporary technical agreement will allow more time for diplomatic consultations between all the interested parties. He also told the virtual board about the success of the agency's COVID-19 response with more than 28 million people benefiting from the testing services provided by the IAEA. The agency continues to uh, work and to deliver assistance uh, in, this, in this regard to the 128 countries that have requested. The IAEA is uniquely positioned to help member states build their capacity to respond to such pandemics. With its expertise in nuclear science and its applications in both animal and human health,